It's billed as the world's greatest collector car event. I love this. This is star power over horsepower. And 2007 skyrocketing sales continue to rock the block. So it'll be appropriate if each one goes for a million. Don't miss the muscle car wars that made the world see double. On the all-out brawl, I'd take them out back and pound sand up their ass. And meet the heavyweight contenders. It'd be a while before anybody knocks that car off the king of the hills spot. As they do battle for the cars of their dreams. This is a million dollar car. I love my job. It's as good as it gets. It doesn't get any better. Sell me the car. Sell it. Sell it. Sell it. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. God bless you. Every dollar counts. I love this stuff. More fun to buy them and to sell them than it is to own them. Man, this is nerve wracking. Gives me goosebumps. It's a good thing. I'm utterly speechless. Drop that hammer! To create a venue in a Barrett Jackson that is as good or better than the year before, you really start from scratch. There's God and then there's Barrett Jackson. The anticipation was everywhere. Sell it, sell it. And that's why every year we try to make it more enjoyable for people. We try to always take it to the next level. We attracted some amazing cars. Seven turned out to be the year of pairs. Every year we try something different, we try to change the mix. We sell everything. Each event will have its own personality. <laughs> I just start thinking about how many different celebrities were there. Look who's behind the wheel, Smoke himself. Reggie Jackson, Baseball Hall of Famer. That is indeed Alice Cooper. People think we script this, or how do you get these guys there? They're car people. I love these guys. And the attendance for Scottsdale, the first few days were record-breaking days. We try to create the balance that reflects the demand in the marketplace. We try different things as we see the market evolving. Added the rock and roll element to the auction. Then we had the Von Dutch collection, the Johnny Cash collection. We're now at a place that our measure for success isn't just the number of cars over the block. We added skyboxes all the way around the perimeter. You're consumed by the energy in that tent when the auctioneer starts his chant. It made it more like a real arena. In that arena, there's a sea of people poised to bid on some of the hottest cars on the planet. Welcome to Bear Jackson. <laughs> Stay tuned, it's gonna be a wild ride. There's something for everyone at Barrett Jackson, and here we have something very unusual. The first of 12 sets of paired up vehicles. We had never sold in the past anything that, that remotely resembled what we did in 07 with our pairs at Barrett Jackson. This is another of our pairs, but instead of a pair of cars, we have matched Hemi Charger and Chopper. We thought that the consigner would come out better if we packaged the cars rather than splitting them. These two cars that are about to be sold back to back are still together some 40 years later. Two very unique cars, distinct in every way, being offered as a pair is a motivator. I suppose it would only be appropriate if each one goes for a million. We're here waiting for our star boss pair. The Diller gang has arrived, coming all the way from Ohio. And Ted is here to rock the house at Barry Jackson. That kick your ass thing, I'm all about that. I'm not here to play. Tom, too, I mean, we're very competitive. We're, we're white trash, we know it. But I tell you, when we're up on that stage, I'll take anybody on. I mean, we're, we're the Doc Holiday and the Wyatt Earp of Barrett Jackson. I'll shoot you down. The Dillers, in a way, are, are 
trendsetters. We were ready to get it on. They get it, and they understand what it takes to make that work. Get these four to rock. And... The bar gets set higher each year. They've had some world record transactions at Barrett Jackson. Their Cobra Jet, the Hemi Hunter, uh, was a world record price in years past. Sold it, sold it, sold it. Yeah, he got it. Got all the family good. coming. Family's all coming in uh, next week, and uh, everybody's excited. And, uh, and we got your dad, Phil, you, Phil your son, four generations. Yeah. Now it's all about what's in that trailer it's right in front of us, right? And we're not going to disappoint you. It was just an honor to, to work on something, a piece of history that you know, very few guys even get a chance to turn a wrench on, and, and it was neat to, to do what we've done to them. These cars will represent uh, the first time Barry Jackson's ever sold a pair of Boss Mustangs. Having a Boss 302 and a Boss 429 in the same colors, it'd have been a shame to split those up when the same owner restored them. We came up with the idea then to team them together, which was somewhat unheard of, never done before here, and something really new and kind of edgy. To get here, you've got to be willing to be a little bit of the gambler. Well, we watched the credit card, you know, uh, amount just get higher than we've ever had before. Between Tom and I, the, the mixture, the magic is there and we make that work. There's a lot of give and take with this thing, and uh, I couldn't have a better partner than, than, than Tom. So everything else in the tomato world is yeah, okay? Yeah, we're, we're... The dealers are really a neat bunch. They're not full-blown auto restorers, but they're tomato farmers from Ohio. If that isn't diversity, I don't know what is. If we're not thinking about tomatoes, we're on these cars, so there are a couple works of arts that we really put the whole heart and soul in the family. You've done so well with, with your cars uh, every year, and I think this being a first of, of actually offering two together as a pair for one bid, but not only that, and the cars so closely related, the big Boss 9 and the little brother Boss 302 done in identical paint schemes, it's going to be a, a, a magic moment. He's the hitter of the detailing, the hard work. I'm just the wore-out tomato farmer that, that just shoots to the four winds of heaven and, and then pulls the trigger at the end. I would probably put him as the best restorer, bar none anywhere. And I'll challenge anybody here at Barrett Jackson or any, he's that good. We're just a, a small country uh, shop that we work out of. And a lot of the guys here I, I, I've talked to that have got some bigger shops and bigger operations and quite a crew of guys that work with them. And, and we're just, uh, it's kind of a low-key operation. I think this is difficult. Now you tell me how difficult was it that we arranged, we got the Mustangs over here in the oh, backdrop. I mean, you know, <laughs> can't make that up. We, we, we love, we're loving <laughs> yep, that. Yep. Oh yeah. Coining them double trouble was so appropriate because it's kind of like Ted and his gang. They're, they're, they're double trouble in a really good way. You can't come out here starry-eyed. This, this thing will spank you. The challenge is out here. There's a muscle car war going on here. Mopars, GM. On an all-out brawl, I'd take them out back and pound sand up their ass. Not only a Hemi Superbird four-speed, but a Daytona Hemi four-speed selling as a pair. That's kick-ass. It was hard to say because the Daytona and the Superbird so rare, whether those would break a million or not. It's a timepiece of a different sort. I knew it was headed to the promised land. $200,000! Bob Johnson's a badass guy with a badass Cuda. And when Mr. Johnson decided he wanted to take the Cuda out for one last test drive, I was sweating bullets. 